Other people taking the elevator <laughs> stairs faster this way? Definitely yeah, faster this way. I think I've done this uh, three times today. Three times? Up and down. Yep. Still faster than me, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that was my four-minute mile, not quite a mile, actually. That was me going down 24 floors of 260 Wellesley. They've had all kinds of elevator problems there. It makes you appreciate when your elevators are working, especially in a city like this. Now, at one point, they were down to only one elevator for uh, more than 1,000 people, and it also left them wondering what kind of recourse they have to get the elevators fixed in a hurry, and apparently, it's not much. And then it folds, and yeah. basically, I had it like this. And I was just carrying it up, and my son here. <laughs> and it your is, son, and your backpack. It's very heavy. And I'm a gentleman. I don't know if I'd offer to carry this for you. <laughs> Pretty incredible that Rania Al Mujamar managed to carry her two year old son and stroller up 24 flights of stairs. All she wants, really, though, is to have the elevator back. And here at 260 Wellesley, when we were there, only two of four of the elevators were working. And she says for about the last week, it was down to one. Were you nervous though having to do that? I mean, the lights are out in, sp in spots as well. Oh, absolutely. Somebody was assaulted in the, uh, in the stairwell not long ago. Um, but, you know, you really don't have a choice. If, if you're going to wait either two hours for the elevator and then people are pushing and shoving, you may not even get in. Or you could, you know, take the stairs. Amu Jamar says this has been an ongoing issue since she moved in. Elevators down for days at a time. We contacted the owners of the building and were told that they were talking to the elevator guys. That's all we were told. So what can be done? Well, we spoke to Tammy Robinson from the city's Municipal Licensing and Standards Division. Here's what she said, quote, It is the responsibility of the property ownership and management to ensure the elevators are maintained and operating at all times as per the city's property standards bylaw, end quote. Incredibly, though, the city has no time frame for those repairs to be made. The owners can take as long as they want. That's not good enough for ACORN, a group fighting for tenants' rights. If we're paying you all this, you know, you should be able to fix this and fix that when we ask for it to be fixed. Yvonne Edwards of Acorn says they have been advocating for years for more tenant protection. One solution they'd like to see for keeping elevators in our rapidly rising city moving is a rainy day fund. Like the city would implement the fee and then take that fee and help to fix the buildings, which would hold the landlords accountable. Because in my building, the elevators are really bad. Almu Jamar welcomes any changes. She worries there may be consequences soon if something isn't done. Yeah. How much time do you have to give yourself just to get to be on time? I have been planning about an hour just to be safe, um, especially if I'm taking my son down to the babysitter, and I've been leaving an hour and a half earlier than normal to walk my dog in the morning because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there or not. And that story came to us through a City News viewer. If you see news in the making, please let us know by email, phone, Twitter as well. You can also submit a tip through our website, citynews.ca.